Never, never decided to do any any filling. It looks like perhaps there was more work to be done. No, I think it. In fact, it was a combination of drawing and painting that you know hadn't been seen before, and mm -hmm. obviously was written about. And you know, Heidi Harden emerges as a painter of poetic sensitivity and individual style. So that's what was written in the L.A. Times about this kind, this work. There were many, many paintings that went with this, but um, now looking back, this was a preview of, of my experience as an adult having to retrieve my child from the, the devastating nature of uh, my very sick parents and their um, illnesses. And this is the, the, that morning at church, I throw up in the pew, I have to go to the bathroom, and <laughs> la la la, it's all in the story. <laughs> so this is the church that we went to. Beautiful little country church, isn't yeah. it? And I was confirmed in this church, it's an Episcopal church. It's in Ponca City, we had to drive. Uh, 45 minutes to get there, and we got there in 30 minutes because of his insane driving. When you worked on these, do you, did you work on more than one at a time? Yes. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I had several. That's why it has. Going. That's why it has this continuity, I think, to it, is because you were. Yeah, I had them all up. I knew what each one was going to be. Before. It's like scenes from a movie almost. Yeah. yeah. And then the next morning, that after church, and you know, my mother's all beaten up and everything, so she can't go to work with him because she became his nurse, and so he didn't want her in the office looking all beaten up. So she got to stay home, and as he went out the door for to work on Monday morning, she told Chris, Mark, and I that we were leaving, and that she had ordered a moving van, and and that Chris was going to have to drive the the car. We were all going to pack up and get out before he came home for lunch. Mm -hmm. And this was a pattern that happened nine times in two years. We would, he would batter someone, we'd pack up, leave, he'd come get her, we'd go back. So we moved nine times in two years with this battering relationship. And until, um, and that's why this one's called, this story is called The Road Again, <laughs> book seven. Mm -hmm. Monday morning, May 18th, 1964. So, um, this is, uh, you know, we're no longer in Kansas. I think um, that's the thing of this piece where we're on the freeway I-35 going. Um, we were going back to get to see these places, but... These are all references to being in the packed car and mm -hmm. having the moving van in front of us and just being feeling like a little squash on the road with Chris, who's not old enough to drive. He's like four years away from being able to drive, but he's driving a fully loaded car, following my mother, who's driving a big van. And so here I'm going to get to introduce you to my brothers. When we went to... Um, to this town, back to Fairfax and Pawnee, where we had lived, we stopped at this convenience store that had this uh, horse out front as a display. And oh, an that's great. And um, we actually had a Roman mare like that horse. And so the title for this piece is um, The Survivors, Chris, Mark, Lady, Our Horse, and Me, The Ditch Witch. Oh. <laughs> that's you over there. That's me. <laughs> the water tower or whatever yeah. it is, right? Yeah, that's got the company's uh, name on it. It's called Ditch Witch. Oh, they really? dig that's tunnels funny. and and they, they have heavy equipment that digs uh, the soil and so you can put in sewer lines and you can put in water lines and in rapid speed and they've done that uh -huh. as a family business for um, almost a hundred years, more mm. than a hundred years. And they're still there. And wow. they just now, in the town, this is a town called Cushing, uh, on the way to these places where we lived, um, the Ditch Witch Company got rattled by an uh, earth earthquake in Oklahoma from fracking. Huh. <laughs> so How many years ago was that? 
That was this year. Oh, this year. This oh. year. Okay. So right after we left, not long, I see that Ditch Ridge and, and Cushing uh -huh. on the news because they had had an earthquake <laughs> near them because of fracking. And I have lots of photos of the oil wells that are all around that town. So that's um, a lot, a lot of things shaking in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's basically what this this um, body of work is about. I see. Um, it has taken me uh, 29 years in recovery and, like I say, 18 months in in this PTSD program and before that, like 10 years or 15 years in therapy mm -hmm. to be able to, to present this and then make it a cause. It's now a mission of Think Round to help this woman who brought Kaiser's program um, to the public and we're writing grants so that she can expand and she's going to to Haiti and Afghanistan and um, South, uh, South Africa and various places around the world. And she'll be going back to Oklahoma City where my sister is the chair of the, pub, the school board to offer, to train teachers to intervene in with children who have these kinds of traumas so they don't have to carry mm -hmm. them for 60 years before they can unpackage them. So some people can learn through your experiences. Exactly. And I'm just so grateful that um, 47,000 children in Oklahoma City Public Schools will have the benefit wow. of this program. That's fabulous. That, um, we're now representing through Think Round, Think Round Inc. Well, thank you for this tour, taking me through this... Uh, all these wonderful paintings and the stories that go along with them. I really appreciate it, Heidi. Well, thank you for coming to take the time, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glad you're my friend. Um, you're my friend, too. I'm so happy. <laughs>